Hi, Mark here from MIECCTV.co.uk. Today we're going to be looking at how to connect the DS2CD2442FWD-IW to your Hike Vision DVR wirelessly. Uh, to do this we're going to need to initially plug in the camera using an Ethernet cable into your router which will allow us to access the configuration and update some of the settings so that we can ensure that the camera connects to your network successfully wirelessly and then we can go to the DVR and connect the camera that way. Firstly what we're going to need to do once you've unboxed the camera is connect the power to the CCTV camera and we're also going to have to connect the Ethernet cable into the back. We will disconnect this Ethernet cable later, this is just so we can change some of the settings. The other end of your Ethernet cable you're going to need to plug into your internet router. Once these steps are completed, we're going to need to go to a computer and download a piece of software called SADP. I'll include a link in the description for this software so you can download it, but what this will do is it will search the network for your devices. Now we've got a few devices on our network, but the one we're interested in is the inactive one at the bottom here, which is the cube camera. What we need to do is put a tick in the box on the left hand side and we're going to activate this camera. To activate it you simply input the password, so this is a password of your choosing, and then you just click on the activate button. Once the device is successfully activated, we need to take note of the IP address as it appears here. Now ours is 192.168.66.160. This IP address is the IP that's been given to it over the hardwired network. So if we open up our web browser and in the address bar at the top type in this IP address which is shown there. Now we log in with the username and password. Now the, the default username will be admin or lowercase and this password is the password that we've just set up to activate the camera. The camera should automatically now come online and start displaying you a live view image through the browser. What we need to do is click on the configuration button at the top, go into network, now go into advanced settings and now click on Wi-Fi. Now here it will display a list of Wi-Fi networks available in your area and you need to connect to your internet router so ours is called MIE if we highlight it here then we enter in our wireless access key for our network. Once we've entered this we scroll down and we press save. Now this will save the settings to the IP camera. Now what will happen immediately is the camera will connect to your network both via wirelessly and via the hardwired network. So the next thing we're going to do is open up the SADP software and in here now if we refresh it you can see the camera is connected twice once with the address ending in 160 which is the current address that we've accessed on and once with the address 161 what we will do next is unplug the Ethernet cable from the IP camera as shown on screen now now your camera will only be connected via wireless connection and you can unplug it from the power and move it to any location you want as long as it's within range of your Wi-Fi network it will reconnect to your wireless network. So now we've refreshed the system we can see only one of those devices connected using the IP address. Now this IP address ends in 161, it's different from the original one that we were given. So when we navigate back to our browser we need to update the IP address in the address bar to 161. Once we've accessed the camera on this new IP address, we'll have to re-log on using the credentials. And now the camera is connected completely wirelessly. The next thing that we're going to do is go into the configuration of the camera and make the IP address that's been given to the camera a static IP address. This will stop it changing, which will stop it falling off the network for any reason because it needs to communicate with your DVR so it needs to have a static address. So to do this we go to the network basic settings and then we untick the DHCP option and then we click save. This will now reboot the device. 
The device will take a minute to reboot. Once it has rebooted, you may need to click back into the address bar and just refresh the IP address because it will ask us to log back in again. So if we click into the address bar on the screen now and just re-enter the address, it will now prompt us to log in with our credentials once again. So now we've logged in. The final part that we need to do to ensure that the camera will work on our DVR is alter the camera quality. Now these cameras by standard are 4 megapixel, but most Hike Vision DVRs, uh, the HQ series, will only record up to uh, 2.4 megapixel. So what we need to do is go into the configuration, click on video slash audio, and then in the resolution section, we need to bring the resolution down to 1920 by 1080 p If you have the resolution set any higher, your DVR won't connect to it as it won't be able to record in this resolution and it will see that the DVR is not capable of recording a camera at higher resolution. Now that completes the configuration we need to do on the camera end. Now what we need to do is go over to your DVR. On your DVR, if you right click anywhere on the screen using the cursor, and pull up the main menu. You want to go into camera and then you'll see an option at the top that is IP camera. Now we see here at the top we've got the IP address 192.168.66.161 which is our cube camera that we want to add. Simply click the add button here. Now it's worth bearing in mind if you set the password on your DVR and your cube camera to the same it will connect instantly. If you haven't, however, you will need to enter the password for the cube camera in the password field here. So we're just going to enter in the password that we've set up for the camera. Once you've completed these steps, you'll know if the camera has successfully connected because it should display a, a blue circle with a, a little white play button in it as shown here. And if we come back out of the menus, now the camera won't display on the main screen, but if we use the scroll wheel on the mouse, we can go and it will display the IP camera. So that's your IP camera successfully connected to your DVR. If you'd like to purchase one of these items, please visit our website, www.mieccTV.co.uk, and don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment on this video.